Data elements can be classified into four data types based on the level of measurement. Nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. Nominal and ordinal are qualitative data. Nominal data type represents data that can be categorized and it is inherently unordered. Data are labels or names used to identify an attribute of the element. Nominal data can be counted and used to calculate percentages, but you can't take the average of nominal data. Example, fruit can be classified into apples, bananas, oranges, so on and so. Ordinal data type represents data that have the properties of nominal data and rank of the data is meaningful. For example, survey questions like do you like apple? And they have answer scale like strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, strongly agree. Interval and ratio are quantitative data types. Interval data has the property of ordinal data and the interval between observation is expressed in terms of a fixed unit of measure. Any interval between each consecutive point of measurement is equal to every other. For example, apples that weigh between 50 and 75 grams, 75 and 100 grams, 100 and 125 grams, interval data type doesn't have a meaningful zero point. So what is meaningful zero point? Does an apple weigh zero grams, right? Ratio data is numerical and have all the properties of interval data except it does have a meaningful zero point. For example, zero apple in a shopping cart. Nominal is first level of measurement. Ordinal is second level of measurement. Interval is third level of measurement. Ratio is fourth level of measurement. The general rule is that you can go down in the level of measurement but not up. Variables that are naturally ordinal can't be captured as interval or ratio data but can be captured as nominal. Let's see two more data types based on the measurement amount, discrete and continuous. Discrete means that you can only have specific amounts of the thing that are measuring typically integers and no values in between those amounts. There must be a whole number of people visiting a store. You can say one and a half person. Continuous means that the data can be any value along the scale. You can buy 1.24 kg of apples from the grocery store, right? That's all about the data and the data types. Thank you. Stay healthy by eating an apple a day. Learning is fun.